what has happened and what God has done, he is the same God and he's not changed. So he's still a God of grace and mercy and love. So if Adam hadn't followed Eve, then God's grace and mercy and love would have still applied to her. And she still would have able to receive that if she chose to not do her own thing. And God would have manifested a way for her to be restored because he desires relationship. And his desire is that we would come into that relationship, but we have to choose to let go of what we're doing. So when Adam, he wasn't deceived, Eve was deceived, and she was deceived into letting go of what she already have to attain something that she could never attain and therefore wear herself out and the rest of mankind by trying to attain something that that actually God already sees us as. So you can be like God. She already was like God. But now you've got to do that by your own independent work separated from God. Which obviously Adam did choose to follow her because he did want to see her redeemed but he didn't know what was going to be on the on the other side of that choice so losing his identity as she lost her identity and then trying to get that back with all the emotion attached to who am i what am i doing here what's all this about that was the manifestation of being separated from the way we engaged or he engaged with God in the spirit, which he was now not able to do, but God still met him when they were hiding away in the in the bushes while they were, you know, feeling guilty and feeling naked and feeling ashamed. God came and met them and God has continued to come and meet with us all the way through history to bring us back to a place where we enter into the relationship. So would you, if she had to wait for Jesus to come? No, because the fiery sword was there. If she would have chosen to enter in, now would have Adam helped her to enter in? Perhaps so. But it's all a mute point because she, he didn't, they did. And we have now had you know, thousands of years or more of the outworking of that. And people are still following that independent path today. So Jesus has come to fully undo everything that we lost through that choice that they made. And God is still consistently the same God, still a loving God, still a God who wants to restore us and has still done everything to make that possible all the way through history. He's not changed. So that is why I don't believe that she would be banished that she would not have an opportunity of going through the fire because God is a God of grace and mercy and his mercy would have triumphed over her inability. But the reality is the relationship and her line ultimately brought about the redemption because Jesus, as was prophesied, overcame and, and outworked the deception of the enemy and the enemy of course tried to deceive him like he deceived them or deceived eve in the wilderness getting him to take a shortcut getting him to you know not acknowledge god and all the things that we know happened in the wilderness those stories of being offered the kingdom do i bowing down to him and all of that stuff ultimately jesus has undone and made it possible for us to experience everything that Adam and Eve were designed to experience. Um, but, you know, I don't believe God has ever changed. I don't believe God ever will change. So God is consistent. His loving kindness will never fail. Therefore, whatever it would have taken for Eve to be restored would have been possible. Whatever happened and whatever she did or didn't do, because God has not changed. And God still is a God who shows mercy and grace and love and he would have loved her whatever of things but ultimately she did adam did then that set up the pattern for then ultimately jesus coming to undo everything that they had 
done and which had brought mankind into that state of not knowing who they are, of losing their identity. I don't believe in original sin and all of that, but I believe everyone has lost sight of the reality of who they are and Jesus came to bring back that vision so we could see that and embrace it and live in it. Okay. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.